Hello everybody and welcome back to our command and control center coding and let us continue with our server. So right now if I go to my Python programs reverse shell nano my threaded.py you can see in the previous video we had a simple problem where as we actually entered the shell successfully and were able to execute the commands once we pressed Q our shell uh, actually disconnected and we were not be and we were not able to access it anymore. So what we want to do is actually we want to uh, we want to actually fix this. So once we press Q, it doesn't close the connection. It just lies in the background waiting for the next command. While as we can enter a different session with a different target. So you can see in our threaded.py. Let me just go right here. If we go to our shell part, which is up here, which is the basically the shell part that is copied from the actual uh, server from the previous section, we have if command equals equals to Q, then it is break. Now we want to leave this. We don't want to change anything right here because we actually want to break out of the while loop with the shell in order to get back to the actual center right here. Where is the center? Okay, so here it is. Once we press Q, we want to break out from this shell function and go back to this part right here. But in our reverse shell code, so let me just show you nano reverse shell.py, or we have multiple, so reverse shell.spec, so nano reverse shell.py. Here in our shell code, you can see that if Q is specified, it it is said to break the out of the loop, which will basically terminate the connection since there is no outer loop for this program, and then we will just close the connection and close the reverse shell itself. So what we want to do right here is instead of uh, once we press Q, instead of it breaking and closing the program, we want to just continue. So all we want to do is simply just continue the program, which will go through this loop and go back here waiting for the next command and it will just stay at this line until we actually enter the session with this target once again and want to execute some different commands. So let us see how this works. We need to compile the reverse shell once again. So root dot wine drive C Python 27 scripts by installer no console. Uh, what is the next one? One file and then the name of the file itself. But right now we also want to try it on multiple targets. So let me run my Windows XP right here. I could have run Windows 7 as well, but Windows 7 takes a little bit more memory. So since I'm running already one virtual machine, I will just open Windows XP in order for this to not work that slow. So let's wait for this to actually compile till the end. Then let us plug in my USB drive. Let's see if our Windows XP is starting. Okay, so it is starting. Now you can test this on any Windows you want. Okay, so the Windows starting sound. Now you can test this on any Windows you want, doesn't have to be Windows XP. You can also test it on different machines if you want to, as long as they are all currently on the same network. We will see later on how to perform this uh, while the targets are being across the actual internet. But from now on, everything should be on the same network. So. That's why I'm using the actual uh, Windows XP as a virtual machine. Now let me move my reverse shell to media root. Okay, so it is root media. Did I plug in my USB drive? Let me just check it. Where did it go? Let us unplug it. And plug it in back back again and right now hopefully it is there okay we plug it into our Cal Linux machine let's wait for it to connect okay so here it is and right now we move the reverse shell to media root Cali live then we can unplug the actual USB drive we need to paste the reverse shell to the desktop of our Windows 10 machine and then we also need to paste it to the desktop of our Windows host. So let us go devices, USB drive, import the actual, uh, this device can perform faster. Okay, so where is the actual device? Safely remove hardware, we do not want that. 
let's access it from the actual my computer. Of course, Windows XP is slow, but we can manage as long as it opens this. Okay, so here is Kali Live, and here is our actual reverse shell. So we paste it to the desktop here as well. And these are our two targets. So like right now, let us run this. Error loading Python DLL. This application has failed to start because the application configuration is incorrect. Reinstalling the application may fix the problem. Okay, so I believe this is something to do with the actual uh, Windows XP itself. So let us try to run it right here. Okay, so here it does work. Let's run our threaded server. Waiting for targets to connect. And let us try once again with our Windows XP. Not really sure why it doesn't work right here. It basically worked uh, once I tried it two days ago, but for some reason right now it won't work. Error loading Python DLL. This application, okay, configuration, some configuration is incorrect, not really sure what. But what we can do is we can actually try to run Windows 7. Hopefully it will work there. If Windows 7 can even start up, because it takes, it will, it might take too much of the memory, but hopefully it will work. Now let's see while Windows 7 is starting up, whether we got the connection from the Windows 10. Okay, so Windows 10 at this IP address has connected. If we type targets, we can see session 1, or pardon me, session 0, is connected to the Windows 10. Now let's see while the Windows 7 is starting up, whether we can enter this session and close this session without closing the connection. So session 0, type who am I, we get the output back, and we press Q, and we type targets again, we still have session right here, and let's say we want to enter it once again, Let's see if we can still execute commands, and we can. So we successfully coded a part of our reverse shell and, and threaded server where we can just close the connection without actually closing the connection, if that makes any sense. Then we can enter back anytime we want to this session and start executing commands on that PC. Now let's actually do the same on our Windows 7 machine. Activate later, so it doesn't really matter. We don't want to activate Windows right now. What we want to do is we want to import our USB drive in order to paste the reverse shell to the actual. What do you mean? Was not successfully installed. Computer. For some reason, it doesn't want to be there, so let us go right here and plug it in once again. Okay, so for some reason our Windows 7 doesn't even have the, or does or can't really find the USB drive, but there is another way we can do this. What we will do, we will open a second terminal, not really sure why none of these ways works right now, but we will just download it over Apache 2, since our USB drive is creating problems for some reason. Yeah, first of all, we need to unplug it from the Windows 10 machine, uh, Windows 7 machine, and then we can plug it into our Kali Linux. And right now, we want to navigate to the media root Kali Live and move the reverse shell.txt to var www html. Right now, if I go to my Windows 7, go to my Internet Explorer, I will download the reverse shell from there. Now I can close this terminal, don't really need it. We are still waiting for the second connection right here. We go to the IP address of my actual Kali Linux, so 192.168.1.9. Here is the reverse shell, so I copy it. I save it to the desktop, okay, save, and then I can run the actual f uh, file, so press here run, it will say the unknown publisher, just click here run, and it should run the reverse shell, 
as you can see currently there are no not any errors so that was a problem with my USB drive right now everything works well and soon enough in just a few seconds we should be getting a second connection to our threaded server as we can see we already have one and here is the second one from the different IP address so we can see this one is 192.168.1.6 and this one is 192.168.1.5 if I just type here targets you can see currently we have two sessions connected one of them is my Windows 10 PC and one of them is my Windows 7 PC if you want to enter Windows 10 for example we already saw session 0 who am I you can then quit the session and then go to the session 1 type who am I as well and you will get a different output since we connected to different PC and then you can go back and forth as long as you want you have two PCs connected waiting for your actual commands so our threaded server works all we need to do is fix it up a little bit add some different functions to it and it will be good to go so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one where we will continue coding. Bye!